This is Drag Race with SJES News. I have come across a time machine acquired from Secret Resources. Kill. I reckon you know a lot about cyberspace. You, you ever come across anything like time travel? Easy. I've already looked into it for myself. Right on. A picture of this! This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. I'm going to use that time machine to interview Benjamin Franklin. Dr. Franklin, thank you for meeting me today. Dr. Franklin, please tell me about your childhood. Where were you born? Did you have many brothers and sisters? Thank you for coming back in time with me, Jack. Well, Jack, I was born in Boston on Mount Street on January 17, 1706. I had 16 brothers and sisters. Four of them died when they were young. When I was 10 years old, I quit school and cut candle wicks at my father's shop. I hated that. I didn't want to follow my father's footsteps. My parents decided to become an apprentice. My dad took me to different shops. He took me to furniture makers and brick grayers. He also took me to brass workers and pottery makers. I didn't like any of those. I finally ended up at my brother's printing shop. He started a newspaper called the New England Current. He was not that kind to of me. He used to whip me a lot. So I ran away to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania when I was 17 years old. Dr. Franklin, were you ever married? Did you have any children? When I was there, I met a girl named Deborah Reed. We got married and we had one son named William. As an adult, he became the governor of Pennsylvania. I'm very proud. Dr. Franklin, I heard you were famous for your inventions. Can you tell me some? My inventions. I made a better stove. We finally called it the Franklin stove. The Franklin stove kept the fire running longer. And let me think of another one. I'm mind, you know. I'm getting older. I can't remember stuff. The lightning rod. The lightning rod was a big metal pole that would be at top of a chimney and would go straight to the ground. So when the lightning would be attracted to the pole, and so the lightning would go straight to the ground and the house want to get burned down to the ground. And I also invented the fire department, the volunteer fire department. It was a lot of work back then. And I also invented a better street light that lasted all night. I called it the Franklin Street Light. And the bifocals. The bifocals are glasses that, that on the top side, it, it was for seeing far, on the bottom side, it was for reading books. And then I also made the regular mail delivery. And that's all I can remember. I heard you were famous for your quotes. Can you tell me some? Oh yeah, my quotes. I made some pretty good lines, didn't I? Do they use, still use them in 2008? Oh, well, that's good, that's good. I'll tell you some of my quotes. Let me try to remember them. Oh, yes. A penny saved is a penny earned. That means don't be wasteful. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthier, wealthier, and rise. Go to bed early and wake up early, and good things will happen. That's what it means. God helps them that helps themselves. That means don't wait for somebody to give you something. And never confuse motion with action. That means 
at purpose for something, don't say, oh, I'm very busy, and just pile up a bunch of people. And an apple day keeps in Dr. Way. I knew that vitamin C was good for you, and so the English sailors finally took my advice, started to eat lime because they had scurvy. That's why they called it limey, you know. And I'm most proud of being one of our founding fathers. I signed a Declaration of Independence. Have you seen it before? Is it still around? Mm, that's good, that's good. And that, on a little secret, that you in a little secret, the treasure map on the back. Dr. Franklin, for meeting me today, my crystals in my time machine are running low, so I have to go back to 2008. Thank you for meeting me. This is Jack Grace signing off. See you on camp. There's no uh, invisible map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. That's clever, really.